No. <coughs> no, I don't care, Ant. I'm not coming. I'm not coming to be another instructor on SAS Who Dares Wins. I'm sick of it. You've tried to get me on every every season, and like I've said before, mate, I'm too busy. Yeah? I'm too busy <coughs> filming me selling woods. All right, mate, you take it easy. And don't forget that time I beat you in the arm wrestle. All right, stop telling everyone you won. All right, love you too, bye. The um, the, the title's a giveaway. Oh, down here, or oh, wherever you're looking. It's what's in my winter bag for extreme conditions. Not in the woods as where I am now, but up in the mountains. Yeah, I was going to be heading into the mountains, but it was there was no snow forecast and gale force winds, so I thought I'd give it a swerve and get on with some uh, landscaping work. And uh, I thought I'd come out and just show you what's in my bag and what I take out on a, uh, for a winter wild camp. And I'm not gonna give you all this, we're just gonna get straight into it. So let's get down on Ant and Deck and have a look what's in my sack. Stands up on its own, it's a good lad. So we'll start with the bag itself. And the bag itself is the Osprey Aether 70 litres, which is relatively new. I've had it out on about three or four different occasions now, and it's and I'm loving it. And the reason I've swapped out is because my Exos 48 litre, in the depths of winter, with my with my big tent and camera gear, food and everything like that, just it just wasn't working. I was like dangling everything off the end of it like like some out of like Buckaroo or something. So. It just wasn't for me. So in the depths of winter, I mean, if I wasn't taking my film stuff and luxurious food to cook and, and wine and all that sort of stuff, then 48 litres fine, 70 litres is probably way too much. It's just for luxury camping. This isn't me for long distance backpacking or anything like that. This is for going up into the mountains and just spending one or two nights stationary in comfort. And that's what this bag is, this bag is packed for for going up into the mountains in the depths of winter, so Jan January, February, when it's uh, when it's snowing. So that's the bag. On the outside, I'll start with this because I want to sit on this. <laughs> and this comes with me everywhere. <clears throat> it's part of my Z Light exit. Um, I mean, my Thermarest Z Light that I cut down. That comes. It's just a sit pad or a porch or whatever. I'm going to use it now. <sighs> as a kneel pad yeah kneel tenant so on the outside i'm gonna i'm gonna be quick through this mate don't you worry about that is something that is pretty essential if you're going to be going up into the mountains uh when it's snowing or icy or whatever and this is just a basic uh hiking axe so it's not for climbing or anything it's just a hiking axe uh, just so you can feel your way as you're going up, so it's short, so that when you're bent in an, in going in an upwards position, you can just sort of jab the ground, see what's see what's beneath you. Um, helps with grip, uh, but the most important thing is if you have a, a, it stops a slip becoming a fall. So if you do stack it, you can self-arrest with this, which um, I know how to do. I've learned how to do it, which is just j basically jabbing it into the ground and putting your body weight on it. And, uh, and saving your life and I've just added a, a black diamond tip on there to protect it with a little bit of bungee cord um, and that's it mate that's it just me ice ice axe I've got this beast I couldn't find my weighing scales so I couldn't weigh the bag before I came out but hopefully future me has sorted it out found it weighed it and i'll bang the weight of the entire pack on here uh, and i'll put everything individually with weights below if you you know if you're interested and this is basically just a, sh a snow shovel a telescopic snow shovel it's relatively cheap there you go turns into that so and i'm just going to do the action of shoveling just in case you didn't know what it was to begin with you can you see you can also use it as a as a pooper scoop for a big dog you can cook stuff on it do what you want row with it 
whatever. This is a yellow stone one. I'll put links for everything below and weight. Making it hard for me send, but that's all part of it. And this is basically so if you if you get to the top and it's dumped down with snow and you want to clear yourself an area to pitch your tent, this is perfect. You don't want to be scratching around with your hands getting cold. This is perfect. Or digging your cell out in the morning if it's if it's came down heavy and you're stuck. Right, bang this. I'm gonna put everything to one side. Because I might get one of them photos, you know, where they're all, it's all around bag. <laughs> You'll know about that because it'll be the thumbnail if I have. Well done. That's that. Anything else on the outside? Just me smog, me scar. That, it comes with me everywhere, really. It's just, it's a, it's everything. It's a sling. It's a, it's a scarf. It's a head, uh, head scarf <laughs> to protect your head. Um, keeps you warm. It's good for. Um, mopping down the condensation on the inside of your tent and just attach it to the outside of your bag the next day. Um, and I like to wrap it around me pillar as well because it's got a, a nicer feel to it. A myriad of different uses there. I did a video on how to tie one of these properly what, back in the day. It's quite good. Um, right, anyway, waffle, waffle a thon. Right, I think that's it for the outside of the pack. Not a big fan of having a load of stuff attached to the outside of the pack. Hence the bigger pack. Urgh. On the side, my clean canteen. That's just me. Oh, ah, it's all it's got water in it, ready to rock and roll. Um, I would, you know, this could be switched out for maybe a plastic one, but the weight difference isn't that much for me, and I, I just much prefer drinking out of a metal one if I can, but I will mix it up from time to time. Right, in the top, I was sailing through this, I like, what? In the top, just, first thing I had to do is just batteries, um, uh, batteries, my spare torch, which came in really handy on a recent trip. Uh, just any sort of charge, electrical stuff in there. First aid kit, very important. That's very important. Um, I won't go through what's in there. It's just a bit of a modified first aid kit. I've added a few bits and pieces to it. Now, when you do go up into the mountains in winter, I just want to talk a little bit about safety. If you don't have a bright orange whistle, <laughs> then you're going to be in trouble. It's really loud as well. Life systems, um, it's a beast. It's re it gets really loud and I just wear that around my neck. You know, if you have a slip, trip or a fall. <laughs> wow, mate. You can, it's just good for the call, to call for help. And uh, you just don't go into the mountains without one. A map of any way, the place that you're going, just get yourself a map. Familiarise yourself with the place. A GPS if you can afford one. But I think a map and a compass, um, you, it'd be silly not to. What else have we got? Oh, in the top here, just a rain cover. For the bag to keep it waterproof. I'm going to do a full review on this bag soon. Once I've given it, once I've got, I've used and abused it, and I feel like I, I've, I know it well enough now to do a review on it. So I, I'm going to do a review on it. Might even do it today. Who knows? I know, and I know that I'm probably not. Right. <laughs> on the inside, I don't even know what's in here because I mix it up all the time. Plaggy bag. So that's just always have a plaggy bag just for litter. Uh, and I, oh, here we go. Notebook. I always take my notebook. It's just a waterproof field notebook. I mainly just draw appendages in it. No, I don't. What I do is this is my notes, my field notes when I'm out. It's nothing more than just, you know, if my batteries, my batteries are a bit low on my head torch, I make a note of it. If I need to refill my um, fire lighting kit with anything in particular I'll make a note of it so that I'm not falling short the next time I come out let's get into the main, main uh, the main section of the bag so my shelter first thing shelter is the I've put it in a different dry bag it's the Hilleberg Alak 2 and I've put that in a, an out kit dry bag that is my four season I'm not going to say bomb proof because a bomb would absolutely obliterate it. It's not bomb proof. 
it's just sturdy four season tent. I'm going to try and stop saying everything's bomb proof because that's nuts. It's just a sturdy one and pegs, pegs and uh, pegs and poles separately. Put everything out down here. Come on. Uh, what else? That goes quite small, that. So in here, I've just got me uh, a da spare pair of thick socks, merino wool leggings, a merino wool top, uh, gloves, hat, a uh, merino wool buff, just to get my get my wool on. And that's that's all. That's the only spare layer I'll take really. I'll just wear I'll I'll wear my down jacket and things that I'm gonna use. I'll maybe chuck another jacket in if it's really cold. Possible's bag. I'll have a quick look in here. Can't, I don't know what's in here really. Right. Coconut oil just toilet kit so just take a little trowel so you can dig a hole, do your do your business in the hole. And cover it over burn the toilet paper you know just leave no trace no one wants to find one of your dumps mate i've got me what me soya squeeze mini mini squeeze with um i've my bag on it split so i've got a, a bigger this is a two liter bag now that's just so i can procure my own water if needs be but i will take water up with me what else Toiletries, just in case I get lucky on the mountain, you never know. <laughs> a knife, which is just the trusty Opinel. Uh, I've had it for years and years. Um, what else? A spare lighter. Um, <laughs> uh, my UCO. Mini um, lantern, candle lantern. Some people say don't use them in a tent, but I've never had a problem with it. And I just, you know, it gives a little bit of warmth and I like the ambience. I won't do it if it's if it's blowing a gale and tents rocking about, I won't do it. But never had a problem with it and it gives a it gives a, a lovely light to chill out to. I think that's it. Oh and some just some things from work, some earplugs. Cause again, once you if you're in the mountains and you can't predict the weather. You can look on the on your on the internet or whatever, but you can never predict it. it. Can change like that, and if it starts to blow a gale, pot, um, then you'll want to chuck some earplugs in and ignore it. It's the best way you'll get a good night's sleep. Then you're not staying awake worrying that you're going to get blown off, <laughs> and not in a good way. So that's my little possibles bag. <laughs> right, we're rolling here. I'll cut little. I'll cut bits out so that it's even quicker but I'm trying to be quick as I can eee, right these are me my chains for my uh, boots my boots they just go around and strap on with that they go around my boots and just so that I can so that I'm not gonna go ass of a tip or whatever you know i'm not going to go belly up that'll give me an extra bit of traction and <laughs> you know if you've ever been in the mountains when it's icy or snowy it can be treacherous especially if you're on rock or rocky areas so you take them for grip another part of my sleep system is the exterm if you're a regular subscriber you'll know this and you'll know all pretty much all this there's a few bits and pieces that are new and that I take out in when it's snowing in particular. But yeah, my Xterm Neo Air, I'll put links for everything below. My cut kit. Shall we have a little look at cut kit? Should we have a quick look at cut kit? Come on. So this is super light and it's self-contained everything I need. All in one. I've got my stand for the gas. 900 milliliter pot, Tokes, titanium. In there, I've got my new 
ish. I've had it out a few times. The MSR, I think it's the pocket rocket. That goes in the top. Titanium folding spark. I cut down one of these scouring pads to clean up with. And inside here is the, I think it's the 500 or the 550. It's the 500, the Turks 500 to that titanium cup. Um, I wrap an old camping, cut a camping towel up, wrap it around there so it doesn't clatter about. And then, uh, small gas. And then underneath the gas, in the little delve, can sit one of these small Bic lighters. And then you put another bit of camping towel over there to stop this rusting on the bottom of your titanium cup. And there you go, that's, that's your self-contained titanium lightweight cup kit. I have done a full video on it, but I don't feel like you need to watch it, so don't bother watching it. I've pretty much said everything you need to know there. <laughs> In the bottom here, I've got me Alp kit three season goose down bag. I think it's the Alp kit 400 three season goose down bag, and we're in we're in the we're in the belly of winter. We're in the belly of the beast, and it's another winter where I've gone. I've almost we're almost through a full year with a three season bag, and I it's just you know. You don't just rely on a free season bag, you'll need to just use clothing and stuff like that and that's what I do. That's what I prefer to do anyway. Speaking of which, these take it up to a four season bag, so my army softies, um, and then I can just sit outside my tent and chill out and without having to get in my sleeping bag freezing. My army softies and merino wool base layer and a down jacket and you're, uh, you're up to four seasons there, easy. Oh, I find it all right anyway. And also, this adds another season to it. The Alp Kit Hunker XL. For what for the for the pack size and the weight of it, it's worth bringing just to as well keep the condensation in the tent off your down sleeping bag. So it keeps everything dry and adds a little bit of uh, warmth to your sleep system. <laughs> Do you know what I mean, mate? I think that's it. Then on top of that, obviously, I would take food and water, but. I'm not going to put all that in now, just some camping meals or whatever you fancy really. <laughs> the uh, the reason why that's taking up so much room is it's because of the tent, the the Hilleberg, it's very heavy and it's very bulk, it's quite bulky so uh, it needed a bigger bag to fit it in. <laughs> right, there you go. I know some people like a little look at what I carry in my bag for different seasons and different bags and that was just I was all locked and loaded ready to ready to uh, head up into the mountains to get some of the white stuff but it didn't turn out like that the forecast said no white stuff and I had a lot on at work so I didn't manage to get up there but since the bag was was packed already I thought it'd be nice just to show you what was in it Right, I'll put links below to everything so you can have a look and I'll put, I'll, I'll put the weights down below next to everything. <sighs> there you go. There you go. Right, happy camping. Take care. Bye for now. I'm leaving all this here, sod it. See you later. Hello? All right, Aunt. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, mate. Sorry, I'm really, s no, 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 no. You've misunderstood, mate, no, no, no. I was, no, calm down. No, no, I was just showing off. I was showing off for uh, for the internet, for a for YouTube, for a lot of people, for, for a YouTube video. I didn't mean, I've never met you. Oh. No, please don't, mate, I'm oh, not there. I'm sorry, mate. I'm really, I, I am sorry. You're the best, mate. <laughs> Not even there. Just acting, yeah? So, if, if you need to act, get, speak to me agent, because I'm, I'm getting into acting now. 
So I'm going to be a star down in the big smoke. Moving to London and I'm going to become an actor. Ugh. So leave all this behind. Just going to get my own show, like maybe at a dinner time, at my quiz show or something. Oh, pheasant, look. Let's get off. See you later. Love you. Bye. Jordan trying to rise on to the dump Now I'm trying to be an icon from the jump They were war then I let bygones be bygones Cause they bars all have gone by by the month Now I'm trying to be an icon from the jump They were war then I let bygones be bygones Cause they bars all have gone by by the month